Okay, today on the Ecstatic Productions channel on YouTube, we're going to be talking about printing mugs. And we've been doing this, we've been in business for 30 years, I think we've been doing it for at least 25. So we've been in sublimation since 25 years ago. We've seen all the changes. We still got an older mug machine, but it still works great. And there's some brand new ones out there, so just go mug press on eBay or wherever, you'll see plenty of mug presses. And sublimation machines, you'll want to get them from Condi or Johnson Plastics, or go to the Long Beach and printed sportswear show. I'll be there for the 31st year. Uh, we're 31 years in business, so we'll be there, and that's coming up in January. Don't miss it. It's the biggest show you can go to. But let's talk about sublimation now. Sublimation can be done in many different ways, and um, you got to have the printer, and that's a sawgrass printer. That's really the one to get. They put out really good ink, they got great technical support. So, let me show you things you might need. Of course, you're going to need some heat tape, just like you do with any type of a heat press type of a situation, and that's what a mug press is it's a heat press that's going to do mugs. And we need transfers. Sublimation transfers, which are to the right. There's all sorts of different ones, including the wrap around. Gonna wrap around the whole mug, tape it on both sides, put it in your mug press for a lot of time, maybe two minutes. Um, and that pretty much you're gonna have to figure that out on your own. And uh, mug presses are different, times are different, so pressures are different. There's a lot of things that you have to get down, and you write it down in a chart. Have it so that when you do certain mugs, you know exactly how much time it takes to do a 15-ounce mug and an 11-ounce mug on your machine. And every machine is different. Every mug press is different. I call it a machine, but it is a machine. It is a press, and you're going to have to get those down. Uh, let's show you the types of mugs, and we're going to show you two coffee mugs. Here's one we did with the Ecstatic Productions logo, and it has it on both sides. You can do a wrap around and do both of them at the same time, which I like to do. Do both sides, or you can just do one side. Charge your customer for one side or both sides. It costs more to do both sides than it would be to do one side. That's a ceramic mug. Now over here to the right, this is a plastic mug. Now if you wanted to do the end, you stick it in there and just put your logo on the end, which is on that side. These are plastic mugs. These are unbreakable. They don't break. Ceramic mugs, as soon as you drop it, you're going to break it. So these, some people like these. Um, they're plastic, they're not going to be breakable, and they're going to actually press on the sublimation quicker. So if this takes two minutes, this may take a minute and 20 seconds on the, in the mug press. It takes less time. You also have to have an insert that you stick inside the mug. You'll put that inside there and then you'll press it for the lot of time. And so we're showing you, and this is a device that they made uh, so you could set up your mugs. That's if you're doing the end, and then if you were doing the other side, of course you'd flip it around, and then you would put your logo and your sublimation logo on that side and actually tape it on there. So that's the process. You can see I just put a mug into the machine, and if you're going to press it, you would you would do for your lot of time and press it on. And then after that, you would have a a bucket or something with some warm water in it and the best thing to do normally what we like to do is to take them and immediately get the transfer paper off there so in some warm water not cold try to keep warm water not real hot water but warm water and you take your cup and if it's ceramic or even the plastic one and dip it into the warm water and then once it's just a little while you can take off your paper and take a look at it make sure you like it so this is mug printing and we're just explaining a few little things and also remember sublimation also works great um, for doing patches here's a patch that's been sublimated so you can take patches and you can sublimate them just 
just like that. Just a few things that you need, of course, and your sublimation machine or your sublimation printer. And you want to do that. And we have tons of pre-made sublimation transfers that customers can come in and put on mugs. So we got plenty of those. We got a big, huge selection of Hawaii transfers. And they're all sublimation transfers to go onto mugs because I'm from Hawaii. I bought a guy out that had tons of them. So I have a whole bunch of Hawaii designs that can be stuck onto mugs or onto other things because, you know, sublimation goes onto lots of different things. Go to Condi and see all the things you can do with sublimation. So this is mug printing or coffee cup printing. And we hope you enjoyed me talking to you a little bit about doing it. It is something that you can make some money with, so don't be afraid to go out and buy yourself a mug press and the sublimation setup and start doing plaques and coasters and mugs, all sorts of stuff. Go to Condi System or Johnson Plastics. You'll see all that information. Thank you for watching and subscribe to the Ecstatic Productions um, channel. And uh, remember, thumbs up. And we'll see you next time on the Ecstatic Productions channel. Have a great day.